There are two parts to this project management simulation game. The first part involves creating a project plan by assigning suitable resources to a set of project activities. The project plan consists of a completed Gantt chart with resources assigned to all the project activities. Creating the project plan would take you around an hour. The second part involves simulating the execution of the project plan you have created. The execution is done in two periods, with a break in between. During project execution, events and situations will emerge and you have to exercise good project management skills and judgment to steer the project towards completion. This game can be played solo or in a group of two to three students. If the game is played during class time, an instructor can facilitate a discussion after the planning stage, midway through the project and at the end of the project. In this game you play the role of project manager. The project management simulation game is created in Microsoft Excel. To run the game, launch the Excel file and enable the macro when prompted. To ensure the game runs smoothly, avoid using the keyboard. The game can be played using a mouse or touchpad. You will hear a welcome message to the project management simulation game together with a pop-up dialog box with several performance measures. You have to decide which performance measures you think your client value most. The weights for each performance measure range from 10% to 40%. If you think your client value schedule more than cost, then select a higher weightage for schedule and lower weightage for cost. The weights you decide will affect how you perform in the game. This is only done once at the start of the game. Click OK when ready. Your selection will be displayed on the bottom right corner of the screen. On the main page, there is a simulation clock on the top left corner. One round of the clock represents one simulation day which is around two and a half minutes in real time. This clock will only start during project execution. Below the clock is the simulation date. Simulation starts on 1st January and weekends are ignored during project execution. There are four dials for the performance indicators, budget, quality, motivation and schedule. The blue color on the dial means healthy, red means unhealthy. 100% budget means exactly on budget, anything above means over budget, anything below means within budget. The same applies for schedule. The measures for both quality and motivation should be the higher the better. Below the four dials, a graph will show the performance of the four indicators as simulation progresses. The screen size can be changed by clicking on the Project Management Simulation Game button on the top right corner of the screen. This is to cater for different screen size and resolution. Below the Project Management Simulation Game button, there is a decision score and customer satisfaction factor. The decision score computes the average score of a series of multiple choice questions that you will be asked during the simulation. The customer satisfaction factor is an overall measure which factors in the performance criteria weightage that was set at the beginning of the game. The first part of the game is to build a project plan. This is an IT implementation project and you will be provided with project activities and resources to complete the project plan. Click the activity list button to show a list of 17 activities. Five different skills are mapped to each activity. Each activity requires different skills. For instance, the activity specification requires someone who has good knowledge of business and sales and marketing but weak in web design and programming skills. The activity implementation on the other hand needs someone who is strong in programming and vice versa. The recommended resource for activity suggests the number of employees needed for that activity. Man days indicate the total man days estimated to complete the activity. In the case of the activity specification, 15 man days and 3 recommended resources means this activity will take around 5 working days if resources with the right skills are assigned to this activity. Click the employee list button to show a list of 16 employees with different skill sets. 
For instance, Jenny has stronger hard skills, than soft skill, while Lynn is the opposite. When you mouse over the employee's name, personal details will appear, providing hints of the employee's motivation and personality. Understanding your employee's personality is crucial in assigning team that can work well together. You should read the employee's profiles before planning the project. The daily rate shows the cost of each employee. Higher skills employees are more expensive. The mode of working allows you to switch the employee to work in overtime mode if necessary. Click the network diagram button to show the project network diagram. This diagram shows the sequencing and dependencies of project activities. The activities highlighted in yellow are currently in the project critical path which changes according to the current status of the project. Click the resource Gantt button to show the resource Gantt chart. This chart shows the availability of employees. Different color codes are used to indicate status and availability of employees. Dark blue shows unavailable. Red shows schedule conflict. Schedule conflict happens when an employee scheduled to work on an activity overlaps with periods where he or she is unavailable. Light blue shows employees assigned to an activity. Green shows employees on training. Click the calendar button to show the project calendar. The calendar shows the tasks and appointments made by the project manager during project execution. During planning phase, the calendar is empty, it is only during project execution that items will be populated in the calendar. Click the Gantt chart button to show the project Gantt chart. This chart shows the activities of a project, when each must take place and how long each will take, as well as who are assigned to them. The duration of each activity is influenced by the employee's skill and the number of employees assigned to the activity. The Gantt chart will be generated as resources are assigned to activities. Click the resource allocation button to show the resource assignment page. A maximum of five employees can be assigned each activity. You may assign more or less than the recommended number of resources. Resources can be assigned using the drop-down list. If I assigned Alex to work on specification, a warning in red appears at the top saying resource unavailable or conflict. The conflict is shown in resource Gantt chart. It takes Alex forever to complete this task because his skill sets does not match the activity requirements, and furthermore he is tasked to work on a job that requires three resources. Let's see what happened when we add Ben to help Alex. There is still a conflict warning but the activity duration has been drastically reduced. Let's assign Jack to this activity and see what happened. There is no schedule conflict now. The resource assignment will also be reflected in the Gantt chart. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the activities. A completed project plan should have a Gantt chart showing all the activities assigned with resources. The resource Gantt chart should not show any conflict, meaning no red boxes. In the home page, the budget and schedule should ideally be below 100%. This is to cater for project buffer. The simulation will not execute the project plan unless all the activity has been assigned with resources. Click the resource training button to show a training plan window. Training session takes up 7 days of the employee's time. After training, employee skill across all the 5 different skills will increase by one level. Each employee is entitled to only one training session throughout the game and cost will be incurred for each training session. Training sessions once scheduled cannot be cancelled. Thus careful planning is necessary to balance between the need for training and over-restricting resource mobility as a result. You need to know the schedule of your employees to plan for training sessions. For instance, Susan will be working on the project at a later stage, thus I can consider sending her for training on the 5th January. Training sessions can be scheduled anytime in the game. After completing the project planning stage, you can then proceed to execute the project. 
The project execution is done in two periods. Once the project starts execution, it will not stop until the end of period 1, which is on 4th of February. The project execution will pause at the end of the period 1 to allow players to review their performance and re-strategize for the next period. During project execution, players need to frequently respond to decision events, emails, and any unforeseen situations that may upset the project plan. At some point in project execution, you may need to request for extra resource, extra budget or scope cut. This can be done by clicking on the red buttons on the right side of the main page. These requests are subjected to approval, and may come with consequences. Once project starts execution, you can start scheduling for quality reviews project reviews, meetings and social activities by clicking on the quality review and schedule meeting buttons. All appointments must be scheduled one day in advance. Quality reviews involved members of the project team working on the activity and will not take too much time. Quality reviews can only be scheduled during the period the activity is in progress. Project reviews on the other hand, involve the entire project team and will take a bit more time and effort. You have to decide when and how frequent to conduct these activities. Social activities are done after office hours, it will not cause any schedule delay but will take up a bit of project budget. Social activities can build team cohesion and increase motivation. Informal discussion sessions are helpful for project managers to interact with their employees on a casual basis. Such sessions will have a positive effect on motivation without affecting project schedule. However, you can only meet employees that are currently working on an activity. If you hear the alert, make a decision. You have to immediately go back to the main page and click the green decision button. A dialog box will appear with one or more multiple choice questions. Click on the number in the decision text box to show the question. Select your prefer answer, and click the OK button. If there are more than one question in the decision text box, repeat the steps again. Close the decision dialog box by clicking on the top right corner of the dialog box after making your decision. If you hear the alert, you got mail. You can read the emails by clicking on the green email button. A dialog box will appear with one or more emails. Click on the number in the email number text box to read the message. Emails are the only way your stakeholders communicate with you. It is important to read emails, else you may miss some important messages. Email messages will stay in your mailbox for up to seven days. If you hear the alert, an urgent leave application is pending. You can respond by clicking on the green leave approval button to make a decision, whether or not to grant the leave application. There are some unforeseen events that will occur during the simulation that are beyond your control. You just have to manage your resources to work around them. Good luck with the game and have fun. If you are keen to use this game for your course, please contact Dr. Wee Leong Lee at the following email address.